Hi everyone. Um, today we're going to have a go at some problem solving with addition and subtraction and we're going to do it in lots of different ways. Now you're going to need some different equipment for this. Okay, you'll need no more than eight things of two different colours. So eight things of one colour and eight of another. So let me give you some examples of what you could do. I was going to use some green cubes and some orange ones. Um, it might be you do something like you get uh, eight copper coins and eight silver coins or if you can't find anything else you, you could just get some pieces of paper and colour eight little squares in one colour and eight little squares in another colour that would work really well it's really going to help our understanding if we can show our understanding with equipment and then with pictures that I'm going to show you how to do that then you're going to move on to some much more advanced problems and you're going to do really well I can't wait to get going so yesterday we were looking at difference. The difference between eight and five is three. Now, if I add the same number to the eight and the five, the difference will still be three. We had a look at that. So eight and five, add one to each, nine and six, difference is the same. Let's have another go. If we add three to both numbers, we saw this, 12 and nine, the, the difference stays the same. It's just the numbers, if you like, getting longer. I, I picture it at the other end. Or let's say we subtract the same number from both. We, we, we saw this happens. If we have 12 and 9, we take 5 from both, then that difference, of course, it stays the same. Now, this opens up some great possibilities. And I just want to show you why this technique will be really useful in the long run. You might not know how to do this immediately, that's okay, but this is how it'll help you. 52 subtract 24. Ooh, I, I don't know the answer to that very easily. So what I might do is just change 52 to 49, take away 3 change 24 to 21, the answer to these two calculations will be the same. Well, 49 take away 21, I find that much easier to do. 4 tenths take 2 tenths is 2 tenths, 9 ten take 1 is 8. So 52 take away 24, that's 28 as well. I'll show you another one. You, you'll be able to do this when you get really used to this, this idea of constant difference. Um, 305 take away 168, well that's challenging. But if I take away 6 from both numbers, I'll have a calculation with the same answer as this one. 299 subtract 162. 200 take 100, 100. 9 tens take 6 tens, 3 tens. 9 take 2 is 7, 137. 305 subtract 168, well that'll be the same. You see, when we understand difference, it can help later on in so many ways. So yesterday we were looking at sequences of questions and thinking using the technique I know so. So how I can use one calculation fact to work out another one, see the link between them. I had this brilliant example sent through. So have a look at them, have a think, how can you use the calculation above to work out the answer to the one below? Pause the video and have a go. Okay. Uh, Okay, and let's have a look at those answers and how they're linked. First of all, I should say, well done mum, because I think that she got them all correct when they were checked. So 38, 39 is one more, 24 is one more than 23, so the difference will be the same. So then 39 to 36, that's three less, 24, 21, three less. Oh yep, yeah, the answer's the same again. 36, so we've got one more and we're subtracting one less, so the answer is two more. And then we've got three more and we're subtracting three less. So the answer, yeah, it is six more. Oh, love that example. Well, everyone, I'm really looking forward to today's video. The title is Boys, Girls and Children. And we're going to use some of your sum and difference calculation skills to find some answers. You're also going to represent a question in lots of different ways. With the equipment that you've got, we're going to show you how to draw pictures to build your understanding. Eventually, you won't need that equipment anymore, but it's going to be really useful for building your understanding. Let's have a look at the kind of questions that we're exploring. Here's a picture of some children at a park. Oh, I remember the days when I used to go to the park. In this picture, there's six children. There's two girls and there's four boys. I can represent this picture with counters like this. The green circles, they represent the four boys, and the two orange circles, they represent the two girls. I can see really clearly there that there are 
two more boys than girls. Now, the question you're going to have a go at first follows the same structure. So, at the park, there are eight children. But this time, there's more girls than boys. In fact, there's two more girls than boys. Now, pause the video, use your equipment, see if you can show how many girls must there be, how many boys must there be. How can you show that? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, so eight children, that's four girls and four boys, two more girls than boys. I need two more girls than boys. That's two more. Hang on a minute, that's, that's ten children. Hmm, two less boys, two more. That's eight children. No, but that's four more. Let's try again. Um, take one boy away and another girl. There we go. That is five girls and three boys. And that is two more girls than boys. You know, what I could do instead is rather than start with eight, I could start with the difference. I could start with two more girls than boys. Now, how many more? I'm going to need six more children. Just one more boy and one more girl. Another boy and a girl there. Another boy and a girl there. Let's see what that looks like as a picture. Draw around that. And so there are all the girls. There was two more girls and they were the other girls and they were the, they were the boys. So girls, well there's five girls and boys, three boys. Okay, it's time for your next challenge. This time, 10 children, four more boys than girls. How many girls and how many boys? Can you find the answer? Can you do it using your equipment? Could you draw a picture to show your understanding this time? Pause the video and have a go. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. We've got 10 children, four more boys than girls. Rather than starting with the 10 children, I think I'm gonna start with the four more boys. And so, there. Now, how many more children am I going to need? I'm going to need six more children. So I'm going to get three more boys and th three more girls. So in total, that is seven boys and three girls. So let me have a look. Seven boys and three girls, that's ten children. And that is four more boys than girls. Now, let me just draw around this. See if we can make our bar model. So that is four more boys, and that is six more children in total. Three more boys and three more girls. So in total, we've got seven boys and three girls. And there's our picture to show. Now, let me show you how to find today's task. And there are a few changes, so listen carefully. On icmaths.com we've now got a tab called Home Learning and we've got All Home Lessons which is the page that we've been using up to now generally with everything for year 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and those Key Stage 1 games as well. Um, but again if you go to Home Learning and Home Learning Year 3 and 4 and click on this page you'll find all the videos and all the lessons for year three and four that we've done so far. So if you've missed a video or you've missed a task, you can click on the video or you can click on the task from, uh, from before. Um, today's task, just like normal, will be just there. And it, when you click on that link, it will, it will look like this. Again, maybe have a go at task A or perhaps have a go at task B. Um, I'd love to see how you can use equipment or to help understand those questions or maybe pictures to show your understanding. And as normal, the answers to those questions are just at the bottom of this page. Good luck. Enjoy. I will see you tomorrow.